Greetings, it's the New York Thrifter here, and on this very rainy Thursday, I decided to go thrifting at one of my local Goodwills in northern New Jersey, and I didn't really have anything in mind. As you guys know, I've got a lot of clothing to resell, so this was more of just kind of spending an hour out and about. On this trip, because I was just kind of having fun, I wandered around a bit. I didn't have any destination in mind. Although a lot of times when I'm going in that I know I want to do some hardcore sourcing, I actually do have a little bit of method to my madness in which of the racks I hit up first. If you guys want me to do kind of a walkthrough of how I source a Goodwill or a thrift store, let me know and I'll be, and I can put that up maybe next week. But for this particular trip, like I said, I was kind of wandering around, seeing what I can find. And at first I was a little disappointed because um, I did find a few things, but nothing spectacular. For example, here's a pair of Citizens of Humanity black skinny jeans. They were for uh, $7.99, but recently I did my jeans week where I listed a bunch of pairs of uh, Citizens and they're just not selling for me. I have them listed for about $29.99 a piece on best offer and I'm just not getting any bites. And so I've decided for the time being to not purchase any of these kinds of jeans. Here is a J. Crew button up with a novelty print on it. And they wanted $10 for this, $9.99. And that is just way overpriced in my mind. I also found this turquoise Nike tank top, which was used, and it was $10 as well. And at that point, I almost turned around and called it a day. However, I'm glad that I stuck around because I was able to find a couple of really awesome pieces. Uh, here is a Robert Graham shirt. This is a woman's button down in a very bold red paisley. And it was a half off color, which means I purchased this for $3. Now, for people who have been following along, you know that I've recently sold uh, Robert Graham for $24.99 plus shipping on full price. And so I'm probably going to price this one uh, similar, maybe $26.99, just because I like the print better and it does have the flip cuff. So I got that. I also found a new to me brand. This is called Surface to Air, and it is a Paris-based collective, so a bunch of different designers. This particular piece is a plaid in red, black, and white, and it is either a long tunic or a short dress, I guess, depending on how you would wear it. I did grab it. I was charged $6 for it because they thought it was a tunic top, so I did not argue with that. Now, brand new, this would go for around $300. When I started looking online for reselling comparables on like eBay, I really didn't get very far. When I did go onto Poshmark to look for comps, I found that a dress has recently sold for about $78 and a jacket for around $295. So it seems like maybe Poshmark would be the better place to go because this does seem kind of like a younger, hipper brand. I'm not sure if, if eBay, a lot of people are putting their pieces up on eBay. And since I was wandering around, I made it through the t-shirt rack and I almost never, ever, ever buy t-shirts, but I really liked this one. This is Salvage Public and these are designed in Hawaii. There are some listed on eBay right now, pre-owned for $48 and $50. None of them have sold, but it seems like it's really premium. It's a, it's a premium shirt. And so I did end up getting it for $3. It was the half off color. Again, I don't really like selling tees. And the reason for that is they can be worn. They can have armpit stains, things of that nature. And so I usually stay away, but I liked it. So I grabbed it. This was a Madewell blazer, and when I looked up the style number on it, this is called the Venice blazer. It's very long. This is in the color black. They wanted $24.99 for it. It was ouch. Um, brand new. This just resold on eBay for $40, and so $24.99, way too high for resale. If I would have found this maybe for $10, I would have grabbed it, but not at this price point. This one really, really hurt to put back. This is a Kate Spade tunic dress, and it is white with silver flecks on it. They wanted $19.99. I could probably turn this around for about $50, but it was a little bit worn. The fabric wasn't in great condition. 
I put it back, but I love Kate Spade. I'm going to be talking about her today in my fashion designer spotlight, so stay tuned for that. But I did not walk out of the store with this Kate Spade. I did, however, walk out of the store with this All Saints black dress. And All Saints is a really great company, um, very cutting edge from England. And this one had a really great neckline. It was kind of a crochet detail. And this would probably cost about $150 new. I did purchase it for full price, which was $10. And on eBay, you're going to see that it's pretty much all over the place between $30 and $60 to resell a used All Saints piece. Now, I'm probably going to list this one at $49.99, taking a best offer. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Probably anything between maybe $30 and $35, I would be happy with. I just, I really like the brand and it has a great following. This is a little bit outside of my comfort zone. This is a new with tag Lulu's dress. Now, Lulu's is a trendy fast fashion, uh, really geared towards kind of the teens and young 20 set. And it is sold via online website, so you have to order it online. Brand new, this piece would have cost about $60 um, from the site. It's a very summer, uh, bright short sleeve dress. And I got it for half off, so I purchased it for $5. And I'm probably going to list it for $34.99, taking a best offer. There are resellers on YouTube that really, really like selling Lulu's, especially on Poshmark. And so I can't remember the names of some of the resellers I'm thinking of, but if you guys know, leave it down below. Um, but they say that Lulu's goes really quickly for them. So this is kind of an experiment for me, very on trend, very season appropriate. So we'll see how fast it goes. This is a tiny brand dress and it is from Anthropology. Very boho inspired with mix and match prints on it, kind of almost a patchwork. They wanted $14.99 for it, so I really hesitated. I ended up leaving it behind, and it turns out this was sold this week, used on eBay for $34.99. It was sold last week, the same one, for $30, and then the week before that, it sold on eBay, used for $34. I could have made a profit on it. I'm not sure how fast it would have turned around, but it seems like this particular style goes pretty quickly considering the fact that three have sold in three weeks. Rails is a very trendy brand. They're known for their flannel print shirts. Uh, you'll see them all the time, celebrities wearing them and wearing them on TV shows and such. The plaid shirts sell for over $100, and if you ever find one for between you know five and $8, I suggest picking it up. It's a pretty fast flip for about $30 used on eBay. Now, they wanted, for this dress, they wanted $15, and I kind of assumed that because their shirts go for $30, their dresses would probably go for more on eBay, and I assumed wrong. Brand new, this exact Rails dress sold on this week for $13.99. Other new dresses also sold on eBay for less than $30, so there was no way that I was taking this home. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed because I really do like rails, but at the end of the day, it's all about what you would be pricing it at and profit just wasn't there for me. This is Tadashi Collection. Tadashi is sold at some of the major department stores. It's a staple at Bloomingdale's and Neiman Marcus and Nordstrom's and such. And it strikes me as a little bit of a more mature brand with a little bit of an older audience, but they do formal cocktail dresses and gowns and things of that nature. This was a size 10 and it had a beaded waistband. It was in perfect condition and it was silk. And as I was grabbing for it, I told myself, don't put it in the cart. You're not gonna list it. You don't list gowns, don't put it in the cart. It was half off, so I bought it for $5. I took it home. It is currently sitting in my death pile where I promptly put it. It will probably sit there for a while. So I need you guys to start bugging me about getting some of my formal dresses up because they just sit there and I tell myself not to get them, but who can turn down a $5 dress? Akmai and Kin is another anthro piece. This is a orange and blue sleeveless design, kind of art deco inspired print. It was half off at $5. I uh, know that this brand does pretty well. It is one of the anthropology brands that I really do like to get. It sells 
uh, between $30 and $60 on eBay used. Because the fabric on this was not very luxe, it wasn't a silk or anything, I'm probably going to go towards the lower end of that and list it for about maybe $34.99 taking a best offer. And finally, I found this Christian LaCroix blazer. And this is an absolutely beautiful blazer from a titan in the fashion industry, Christian LaCroix. I purchased this for $7.50. It was half off. It was originally $14.99. I can't believe that nobody picked this up. You could see the detail. You could see the beauty in this piece. It is a vintage piece from Christian Lacroix and he is also going to be spotlighted in my 12 designers for today. So I'm going to leave this piece um, for the end of the video and I will go through a bit of this designer history along with how much I can expect to make on this. This is the end of my Goodwill trip. Pretty great haul for just a uh, casual Thursday morning. So next up we're going to get into those designer pieces starting now. This first designer we're looking at is Diane von Furstenberg, and she is a former princess born in Belgium, married into royalty before their divorce. Diane started her fashion career working as a photographer's assistant, and then later on, she worked at a textile manufacturer. It was there that she said she got her eye for fabrics and fabrications. Now, she became famous in 1974 when she introduced the first wrap dress. This got her on the cover of all sorts of magazines, international attention, and the wrap dress is a staple in a lot of women's closets even today. And so she made a name for herself early on. As you see here, I have two pieces. One is a dress. This is her old label. So this is the one you're probably going to recognize. This is the newer label that is probably maybe two years old. So you're not going to see this one as much, but it will be popping up more and more. With Diane von Furstenberg, if I have a dress or something new with tags, I will sell it on eBay, uh, probably for around $50, maybe even $60. A lot of the shirts that I have, because they only go for the 20s, I'll send into the Real Real, where I'll get about $16 on consignment. But both of these pieces, I'm planning on listing myself on my eBay store, and we'll see what they bring. Sandra Paris was begun in the mid 80s by Evangeline Sheetrite. She spent her childhood in Morocco and her teenage years in Paris. And so she kind of melded the two cultures together. So you have very stunning patterns along with a very sophisticated palette. I enjoy Sandro pieces a lot. And I figured if I ever worked on, you know, Wall Street, this is what I would be wearing. Not that I would ever work on Wall Street, but there you have it. And Sandro can go on eBay for probably around $40 to $50. If you send it in to any of the online consigners, you get significantly less. So I suggest that you sell these pieces yourself. And if they're priced right, they can move rather quickly. Alice and Olivia was launched in the very early 2000 by Stacey Bendett and her partner. And the reason I'm starting off by showing you this pair of pants is because this is how they started. They created a line of skinny pants and they were able to show their designs to some retailers and get them in department stores. They've since branched out from pants and now do a lot of different shirts and cocktail dresses. You're probably gonna recognize this. I just picked this up uh, earlier this month. I haven't listed this dress yet, but I expect cocktail dresses to go for about $50 on eBay and a pair of Alice and Olivia pants go for about $25. We all know Kate Spade. We lost her last year. Very, very sad in the fashion world. A lot of people are still mourning her passing. Kate began her career in fashion at the accessories department of uh, the fashion magazine Mademoiselle. And while she was there, she said that she noticed there was a lack of stylish and uh, usable handbags. And so she said, I'm going to do this. She quit her job and she created prototypes of the purses that she wanted to make with scotch tape and paper. Her husband uh, cashed out his 401k and they began uh, designing these, the purses, the handbags, and 
they became very popular very quickly. It was kind of a status symbol in the 90s to be carrying one of these one of these purses. And it started out as a very, very small operation. Uh, Kate and her husband, Jack, would often spend the night at friends' houses because their apartment was so full of boxes of inventory that they were moving. And so this is really one of those stories where they started from nothing and built an international brand. So if you're going to be selling Kate Spade, I definitely recommend if you have a dress or something really interesting like these Broom Street by Kate Spade pants that have embroidered poppies on them along with beads, I suggest selling these yourself on eBay where you can get a pretty good return at $50 or maybe a little bit more. However, if you have a piece like this that is just a short sleeve sweater or something similar, I suggest you send this into The Real Real, where you'll get about $16 in commission. If you sold this on eBay, you'd probably only make that in itself, and you'd have to list it and everything else. So I like to do online consignment with my smaller Kate Spade pieces. I also send in any purses that I find to online consignment, just because I don't like authenticating them. It's just not something that I'm 100% comfortable with. And so again, with the purses, I send them in, I let somebody else authenticate them. ALC is a Los Angeles-based design company, and Andrea Lieberman is the head designer. She was a stylist for Jennifer Lopez, Gwen Stefani, and a lot of other uh, musicians, and she decided to launch her line at the end of the 2000s. Pieces sell for around $300 to $600 in retail. And if you're reselling for a dress, you can get about $25 to $60, depending on the piece on eBay. And I actually have to fix that tag, it's falling off. For the shirts, they go for a little bit less at around 20. So again, I will send this into the real reel where I'll make about $16 in commission. And it adds up. I'll usually, um, for these two pieces that I'm going to be sending into the real reel, I spent $6 a piece on those. And so it's just easy as putting it into a box, sending them out, and letting somebody else sell them. Now this next brand is synonymous with style, and that is Valentino. Valentino did some work in some Paris houses, and then he went back to Italy, where his father financed his own fashion house. And Valentino started out by using a really, really bright color red that was came to be known as Valentino Red. And his brand went international when one of the pieces caught the eye of Jackie Kennedy. She commissioned a bunch of dresses to be worn during her mourning period after the president had died. There is a diffusion line that is now being sold, Red Valentino. And these are a little bit kind of more younger looking flirty pieces. This is a new with tags dress with a ruffle hem and some really uh, fun polka dots on it. So for sales, I'm going to be sending my Valentino pieces into Thread Up Lux. If I was to price these on eBay, I probably put around $99 on each one. And that's probably around what I'm going to get if I send it into thread up. So again, I put these in a box, I send it in and I get a check at the end of the month. Max Mara is an Italian brand founded by Achille Maramotti. And I, I could have that completely wrong. It is an Italian. And He realized early on in his career that mass production of designer quality clothes was really going to be taking off. So in the 50s, that's exactly what he started to do. He is known for using the absolute best materials, cashmere and wool and absolutely beautiful pieces. He had many, many famous designers working at his house, including Karl Lagerfeld and Narciso Rodriguez, but he always kept the Max Mara name on the pieces, saying that the brand was more important than the individual designers. And so when you're feeling a Max Mara piece, you absolutely know that it is luxury. This is a cashmere blazer. I would expect to sell this on eBay for almost $100. If I send it in to Thread Up Lux, it would be also about $100. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Max Mara has several different diffusion lines. One of my favorite is Weekend Max Mara, and it tends to be a little bit more casual and a little less expensive. I really like selling this as well and probably would make about $30 online selling this on eBay.
Acris has an amazing story behind it. It was started by a Swiss woman named Alice Kremler Sechoch, and I know that I got that one wrong, but she started making just dotted aprons on her sewing machine that she had in her living room. And that was in the 20s. And in the 1940s, her son took over. He expanded the line to include a lot of career pieces in a lot of wools and luxe fabric. And it absolutely took off. Uh, This brand is worn by some very influential people. It is also uh, used a lot in Hollywood. For instance, uh, Carrie Washington on Scandal would oftentimes wear Acris pieces and Robin Wright in House of Cards wears it as well. The diffusion line is Acris Punto and I do have a piece for you to look there. Uh, Acris Punto is sold new for a lot less money than the Acris line, but when you're reselling, they go for relatively similar. I'm not sure if people necessarily know the uh, the difference. And so selling them on eBay, a blazer goes between $50 and $100. Thread Up Lux will pay around $50. Whereas if I wanted to sell this Acris Punto pair of pants on eBay, I'm probably looking at something closer to maybe $34 or $40. And so very good pieces, very quality work. And again, really for career minded uh, women to wear. I know Zach Posen because he was a judge on one of my very favorite shows, Project Runway. And Zach is an American designer. Uh, When he was younger, he would dress up dolls in uh, fancy gowns. So I guess his parents must have known he was going to be going into fashion. In high school, he interned at Nicole Miller. He also was mentored by Richard Martin, who is the curator at the Costume Institute at the Met. And so some very excellent pedigree, even as a teenager there. He went on to the University of Arts in London. And when he got back to New York, he received a grant that funded his first runway show in 2001. He is a staple on the red carpet and he's also works now for Brooks Brothers. And so his pieces, uh, they sell for very high, but their resale value isn't really necessarily there. On eBay, you're looking at around $30. But if I send this into Thread Up Lux, it's probably closer to 100, maybe even 160. And so that's what I'm going to do with my Zach Posen piece. Mario Prada began Prada in 1913. So this is one of the oldest design houses that we're looking at. And it really started with leather goods. They didn't have a woman's ready to wear line until 1988 with the great granddaughter launching it. And so what they wanted to do was not have it really logo based, kind of like a Louis Vuitton where you have the logo all over everything. Prada instead is a little bit more discreet. It does have some hidden Pradas there in some of the fabrics. Prada clothing goes for really all over the place from $5 to $100 plus. You just have to price it what you think you can get and probably take best offer. If I did send this into an online consigner like the Real Real or Thread Up Lux, I don't know what they would set that their price is at because again, it's all over the place. So I'll probably just end up selling it myself. I do have a Prada piece currently, a dress that's currently at the Real Real, and it's been there for a few months with no takers. So if it doesn't sell soon, I might actually reclaim it and try selling it on eBay myself because they have it priced rather high. Piazza Sempione is another story of a husband and wife team. Uh, Monty and Marissa... Girizio started it um, in Milan and they were on Piazza Simpioni Street. And so it's a husband and wife team. They started in their apartment. They grew and grew, started in the early 90s. Their blazers are really what they're best known for, but they also have beautiful career dresses as well. This blazer will probably sell for between $30 and $40 on eBay, but I'm going to send it into the Thread Up Lux program where I can get about $50. And for the last designer of the day, I am going to circle back to this Christian Lacroix that I found today for very, very little money. And I love the story of Christian Lacroix because he did not study fashion. He studied art history. And so when he set out to make his couture line in the 70s, he wanted to use the most opulent 
fantastical fabrics and designs, and he really did that. In fact, he was often criticized because they said he didn't know exactly what women wanted to wear because his designs were so elaborate and over the top. But to that I say, he's not just making fashion, he's making art. And you can see even in this blazer, the fabric that he used and the textile work is absolutely amazing. And if you look down here, it also has a beautiful button on it Christian Lacroix is another one of those designers where it's very hard to nail down the price. I've seen things listed from $50 to $100 to even $200 sell. And so it depends on what you're selling and what your buyer is looking for. For this particular piece, it is vintage and I'm expecting to, I don't know, mark it up high probably, maybe $150, maybe even more and see what happens. And to end the video, I've got another great day of sales. I shipped out five pieces today for total sales of $103.95, not including shipping costs and any fees that I had to pay. First up is this Bob Mackie wearable art button down. It was a silk embroidered piece plus size. The buyer paid $17.01 plus $2.99 in shipping. This is a Style & Co. black lace top. It was also a plus size, a 3X. The buyer paid $7 plus $2.99 in shipping. This is a Victoria's Secret two-piece lot sports bra for $10 plus $2.99 in shipping. A Victoria's Secret ruffle bikini bottom in bright vivid blue, $19.99 plus $2.99 in shipping. And this is a Citron Santa Monica floral silk top in 1X. I really, really like uh, Citron Santa Monica. It sells very quickly for me. I sold this for $35 on best offer plus $2.99 in shipping. So with that, I'm gonna sign off and I'm actually gonna be signing off for the week. I have an unexpected trip coming up with my husband. He's taking me and the family on a hiking tour of Vermont. And so I definitely am gonna stop along the way at some Goodwills and maybe some Salvation Armies. I will take some pics while I'm going through the Northeast and share those with you, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get back on my laptop until Monday or Tuesday, depending on uh, what we do exactly on the vacation. So I hope everyone has an amazing Memorial Day weekend with their family and friends. I'll see you next week.